So tomorrow morning, weather permitting, Ireland will have a bird's eye view of a partial solar eclipse. To explain to us a little bit more about how we can safely observe this, I'm joined here at the Astronomy Ireland offices by David Moore from Astronomy Ireland. David, eclipses are amazing to watch, but we have to be very careful, don't we? Yes, it's not safe to look at the sun with the naked eye on any day. Uh, the sun will burn a small disk of itself into your retina if you stare long enough. And on a par partial eclipse, even a deep one like this, it will just burn a small crescent onto your retina. So don't look directly at the sun. And to show the da danger that you can get with telescopes, uh, this is nearly a nine inch telescope, quite a powerful one. And the sunlight uh, coming through this particular uh, telescope, re reflect on this cup, will immediately melt it. And in fact, it was a piece of paper, it would catch fire. And on this particular one, in just a few seconds, you can see that it's, it's made a hole that I can put my finger through. And if that was your eye, you would be seriously damaged. So be extremely careful. Never use telescopes or binoculars. OK, so how can we safely see this eclipse tomorrow then? Well, to safely see the simplest way actually is, is very easy. All you need is a piece, a piece of card uh, like this here. And you poke a small hole into it. I've used a paper clip. And if you stand, uh, try, and, try to cast as much shadow as possible uh, into the, onto a piece of white paper. So uh, roughly arm's length will do. You can see that we have an image of, of the sun uh, with just a simple piece of cardboard. That disc will show the chunk of the uh, sun being covered by the moon. If you get into a nice dark location, a large sheet of cardboard, you can actually make the image quite big and a whole group can view the image of the sun in complete safety. And you can see I've got my back turned toward the sun. I'm not looking at anything bright. There's absolutely no danger to your eyesight doing this. And you can have great fun experimenting with the size of the hole, <laughs> uh, trying to get a darker room as possible. Some schools around the country are trying to do it into a, a completely darkened room, which will give them a really good view with no telescopes, no optical equipment, piece of cardboard, piece of white paper. But you can also get glasses if, if you're lucky enough to find them at this stage. Yes, uh, Astronomy Ireland is running a national eclipse watch and we'll have lots of these eclipse glasses. We've sold out of them t today, unfortunately. Uh, and these are guaranteed safe. They're uh, CE approved to block not just most of the light, but all of the infrared and all of the ultraviolet. And like any ordinary sunglass, just pop them on and I can see a perfectly calm, dim view of the sun which will give me a great view of the eclipse for the two hours I'll be able to see the moon crossing the sun at any stage. But important to say that these are not 3D glasses that some people might have at no, home. No, they are, they're very special. The material in them is not only extremely dense, there's not, you, you can't see anything through them, not even uh, bright lights in uh, bulbs, things like that. They'd be only good for welding or for looking at the sun. They are that dense, but they're also guaranteed to block 100% of the infrared and 100% of the ultraviolet. And if you use sunglasses, they're not guaranteed for looking at the sun safely. And if you try to use anything dark, a piece of dark plastic, whatever, you don't know if the infrared or ultraviolet is getting through. So if you don't have a CE approved set of eclipse glasses, then don't risk it. It's not worth your eyesight. You'll, you'll see a great view with the pinhole method. But perhaps the best option for some people would be to go to, as you said yourself, you're having your, your own eclipse watch tomorrow. There's plenty of these events happening around the country being run by um, astronomical associations and astronomy clubs, that kind of thing. Um, and at those, they will be able to use the likes of the telescope that you have there beside you yes, in yeah, safety. Exactly. Now, we're lucky we have a nice darkened room that we can project an image onto, into a dark space, which will give a really impressive view. And we have a nice uh, telescope here that collects way too much light, but we can project, use that to project onto uh, a white sheet. And uh, if we do that now, we'll not only see the sun, but we can actually see several sunspots as well. And uh, so there's lots to see on the sun. And once the room is, is fully darkened, the sun will be in a slightly different direction on the day. Then we get an, an image like this, uh, where you can see a huge sunspot here. That's about the size of the Earth. Uh, there's another one coming into view down here on the edge of the sun. And on the day, we should be able to make the image almost a metre across and give people a really fine close-up look at the sun, which we could do any day. And we'll have a huge disk of the moon crossing the sun uh, from about 8.30 to 10.30 if people want to join us. OK, excellent. Well, David Moore, thanks very much indeed for giving us that lowdown. So an exciting morning uh, ahead tomorrow if the weather is kind to us. There's a full list of the events that are happening around the country available on the <coughs> RT website.